guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another episode of How About Them Celtics. Sam and I are here recording on Sunday, October 22nd. Uh, and breaking news, the Celtics have signed somebody that I said they should sign. Uh, the comments were very kind. Sorry if I'm whispering. I'm not home right now, but you guys will have to deal with it. Celtics signed Nathan Knight. Library Jack. To a, <laughs> Library Jack is back. Uh, well, let's call it Respectful Jack instead of Library Jack. Give me some credit. Library here. Jack. <laughs> okay. Kind of sounds like Lumberjack uh, if you say it fast, though. <laughs> it's kind of cool as I, as i started like i have this whole like section of the room to myself but just as i started somebody walked through so i'm like mm, great timing um celtics have signed nathan knight to a two-way contract he is six eight i think i don't know if he's actually six ten he's six eight he's not six ten uh 26 year old forward will replace jay scrub as a two-way player jay scrub was in the building today though so it does seem like he will rehab in boston so uh <clears throat> at least there's still a good relationship there um but nathan knight comes in uh, after spending the preseason with the New York Knicks. He just played the Celtics a couple nights ago. Uh, no pun intended. Six foot eight, 26 year old forward spent most of his career with the Timberwolves one season with the Hawks. But yeah, I mean, we talked about this last night. Yeah, we, we had some commenters really high on him. Uh, big body. I remember you saying he could block shots pretty well. He's not somebody that seems like he needs the ball a whole lot. He's not a big stats guy as we went through his college numbers because that's kind of all we had. Uh, but he sounds like he could be another potential eyeball emoji mm. for a big body off the bench. You're mixing up some players, I think. Nathan Knight was very good in college. John Butler could block shots. And that's there was a, yeah. there was another guy who wasn't great in college. Nathan Knight was very good in college. He played at William & Mary. He averaged 21 points his junior year and 20.7 mm. points uh, his senior year. She didn't shoot the three ball super well. Uh, but was an efficient scorer. His final year at college at William and Mary averaged 21, uh, 10 and a half and one and a half blocks. So not a bad shot blocker in college. Um, but obviously he's he, he pretty good shot blocker. I mean, he's got tons of awards here. Uh, CAA player of the year, all defense, three time, all freshman. He's got a plenty of stuff here. Defensive player of the year. So I guess he was a good defensive player. Hmm. Um, he's fr from Syracuse, New York. So the Bobbies are very excited. The Bobbies on the soccer <laughs> beat are amped up. Um, but uh, we, no Nathan Knight because uh sorry here it is yes he killed the Celtics a couple of years ago <laughs> uh this we'll check out his highlights from this game then we have some sort of some other highlights from last year but this game was December 27 2021 um the shorthanded Timberwolves took on the Celtics this was probably their worst loss in a long time for the Celtics Sam who was the other guy former Celtic on this team who killed them former Celtic that killed them yep on this team in this game killed them Jake Lehman, Greg Monroe. Was that was the Greg, Greg Monroe, Monroe game? You remember this that? This was a Jaden Noel game. How many games was this game? This was the same game. It was all the same game. Nathan Knight. No, that's what I'm saying. Him. Like, how many guys had a game that you can be like this? Was the player X game? It was Nathan Knight, Jalen Noel, and Greg Monroe. I believe. I'll check the box score, but oh, yeah. it looks like Worth underneath there. <laughs> Worth is a guy we play pickup. Is Worth going to be at basketball tonight? Now that I'm no, probably... neither one of us are going. We're kind of tucked out. Losers. Know, maybe I'll go. We'll see how I feel. You're a bum. Go to basketball. At least go. I mean, at least go. At least go. Test it out. See if you're good. Don't just not go. No, because then if I go, I'm going to have to play. Yeah. <laughs> That's the point. But if you, if you just played the game that I played, you would be in bed for the rest of the day. Yeah, well, suck it up. <laughs> Uh, Nathan Knight, anyways, I murdered them on that dunk there. <laughs> Poor Nathan Knight it? just getting slighted by us. <laughs> I know. Uh, rolls well. I mean, this Looks is obviously like he's a, a big highlight hands reel. guy, just ready to catch yeah. and finish underneath, which is a good skill to have on the Celtics team, I would say. This was obviously a highlight reel, but at this time, the Celtics were below 500 and they needed this game then timberwolves were also below 500 timberwolves did not have anthony edwards or carl anthony towns so this was like they had a... nobody they literally had the fellas out there this was the fellas game i remember it like it was yesterday mm -hmm. i was mad as hell it was like right after christmas or was it right i got the stats for you i got the stats for you nathan knight had 20 11 and 4 malik beasley had 15 four blocks. 2 no four assists okay jade mcdaniels had 17 5 and 2 uh McLaughlin, Jordan McLaughlin had five, six, and ten assists. Uh, Jalen Noel had 29 points off the bench, and Greg Monroe had 11, nine, and six. So everyone just killed the they Celtics. They just all said one, two, three, beat the Celtics. 
Yeah. The Celtics had everybody but Tatum. They had Brown, Horford, Rob, Langford, Pritchard starting. Uh, Jabari Parker played in that game for context of where they've come from. Marcus Smart was out and uh, Tatum was out, but still, you can't be losing that game. That was a, t- was a tough one. No, um, you can't. You truly cannot. It's just, <clears throat> I mean, it's almost three years ago now, so I guess why are we still mad? But it just yeah, thinking about that ago. kind of thing makes me upset. These are some of his highlights from last year. Just to get a more recent look at him. Um, we, we haven't talked about Nathan Knight a lot this video. <laughs> uh, he's a fine player. I, I mean, it makes sense to take handling a, the ball a, a bit on him like that. Bully <laughs> yeah, ball. Playing, uh, Bully ball. He was playing really some one on one in practice today. He's playing with uh, Pritchard, Lamar Stevens, Jordan Walsh, and Jalen Brown. So he's getting some run in. Oh, yeah. He coast to coast. Yeah. He's he's more of a forward than a center, to be honest. Like the way he plays. Is I don't he think an old he'll play much power center. forward. <clears throat> uh he's working on a shot. He was working on a shot a lot today in practice. You can see the like the outline of a solid shot there, but he needs to keep working. But he's he's big body. He's he's not a center. He I don't think they'll play him at center. I think Bobby Manning tweeted the Celtics see him more as a forward or a power forward than a center. I think if he gets a little quicker, he could play three and four rather than four and five. And he is very athletic, as you see in the highlights. <laughs> Kobe White, tough. Mm-hmm. Look at the fellas pumped for him. I mean, that was a crazy dunk. I don't care who was against. <laughs> he got up there. Uh, it's Again, though, it's a two-way signing. It does. It, I mean, the fact that they signed another big could indicate maybe Nimish Keita is going to get some more run with the big team. I think that was a, a Bobby Manning tweet as well. But. Oh. I mean, he's set the video title. What is the no. Celtics Brandon Knight or not Brandon Knight? I'm sorry. Um, what did Nathan Knight signing mean for Nemish Keita? New FanDuel customers can bet five dollars and get 200 in bonus bets guaranteed. Plus, all customers who bet five dollars will get one hundred dollars off NFL Sunday ticket from YouTube at YouTube TV. No, this title is breaking. Celtic signed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you already know what the title is. It's the same title. Oh no, it's a Celtics highlight. What happens? Oh, is this just steal? Oh. Super no, cool dunk. Definitely it. Uh, oh. Assist too or no? Uh, it's, just, it's just steal. I think. Yeah, he's he plays like a oh. forward. Yeah, it's a good good pass. This guy's not a center. He's a forward. And he can play He's... defense. Is he no, going to be a dominant know. main Celtic this year? I think so. I think that's what you're going to look at. Yeah, I think they they said okay, Nimish is a little bit too good. How old is he? We're going to run with him. Twenty six. Okay. So he's not. <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't get hopes too high, but I mean, I mean he's, he was he's playing decent minutes athletic. for the Timberwolves. Like this is a close game that you see on your screen in the fourth quarter. Want to guess how many minutes he averaged last year? I don't know. I'm looking it up now. I'm just seeing if twelve. Take a guess out there. He averaged seven point seven minutes in thirty eight games. Damn, I gave him too much credit. A little bit, a little bit too much credit. I mean, these highlights look all right though. Like you can see the outline of a solid player. So there, there are like good role player attributes being put on display here, which is. In my opinion, what the Celtics should be looking for in signings, like if Jack and I are watching a highlight tape of a 13th man who's hitting step back threes and playing iso ball, then it's just not going to be somebody that's going to give the Celtics anything. These guys are getting out, running, catching and finishing at the rim, being in the right spot, ready to score when they get the ball. Those are the guys you should be excited about when the Celtics sign them. Not necessarily guys. As I say it. Yeah. I mean, look at that. That was what? One dribble to the basket on a catch. Great. Mm-hmm. That's something you can yeah. do if you're playing real minutes with the Celtics rotation players. Like if he did that in a game with the Celtics, nobody would bat an eye. But if he, it, let's just say DJ Stewart is chucking threes <laughs> and drilling them, everyone's like, what the hell's going on? Who is this guy? Why is he being so much of a focal point of the offense? These baskets are not anything like, oh, wow, like he needs the ball for that. Kind of like what we've seen from Porzingis so far. We haven't seen a ton of like ISO dribble, dribble ball from Porzingis. It's just been catch, finish, catch, move, finish, mm-hmm. catch, shoot. Like that's it. Yeah, I agree. 
Um, I think the two things he probably needs to work on the most are the quickness on defense, like being able to stay on the perimeter and just his three point mm-hmm. shot. He was working on a three point shot a lot at uh, practice today. Um, it's it's up and down. Yeah, no you can, like I said, you can you can see the outline of the of a good shot, but he wasn't like drilling them. Like it, he's taking open threes and he's taking some mid range shots, working on his shot overall. And it wasn't like it's not, not like Sam Howes or a guy consistent at them. So sometimes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> That was over Bruno, Celtics legend. Oh, no. I Poor like guy. That. I always liked him when he was here. He's a good player. <clears throat> I always like the super cool dunk highlights. They're more fun. It's better than the threes. I like to see really good shot contests. The defense. Like that one. Like that one. Yeah. <clears throat> here you go. And these other guys are getting their respect, too. They get to see the whole highlight <laughs> clip. Ooh. Nasri. Nasri oh. so good. That was crazy. Nasri, it's kind of fire. Good for him. He got paid. I like these Timberwolves jerseys. People hated them. I didn't mind them. I think if they leaned into it and like rebranded that way, it would be cool. But like every once in a while, it's like lame. And when you're wearing them on the road, it's lame. There's a there's a lot of lame aspects to how the NBA handles their jerseys. Mm. But these highlights are very like encouraging. Well, maybe not something like this. It's not what you want to see him do if he's playing with the big Celtics, not the main Celtics. He can do it, which is nice. Yeah. If, if in case of emergency, he needs that was to do a crazy it. block. Yeah. He got up so high over that block. That was a crazy finish. I'm sorry. This isn't a Torian Prince video, but what the hell? <laughs> Hold up. Look at this. Look at how low he takes this. <laughs> yeah, he almost went between his legs. That was crazy. Probably could have. Yeah. Good pin block, block by Knight. He barely got that too. He's only six eight. He's not six ten. Just to clarify, there's just no, he's not. Boom! Big dunk. Good out of the dunker spot. <clears throat> He'll probably need to get used to playing more at the three point line. But we've seen him drive closeouts in this video. Oh, DeAndre Jordan, poor guy, washed. Oh no, you can't bite on that. All right, let's see one more highlight, and then we'll we'll call it. Uh, actually, the video is almost over. <clears throat> Watch the rest of the video. All there's right, like, bet. there's like twenty seconds left. Big boy finish. Great finish. Let's see. I was so confused. I was like, oh, Mm -hmm. that's not him. Good drives. These are quick decision moves that we're seeing out of him, though. Like This this is what you really are going to want if he winds up getting minutes off the bench for Boston, which I don't think will happen, but you never know. Good pass. Good pass. End of the year stuff. Maybe guys are resting. And he gets minutes, that kind of thing. Could be fun yeah. to see. No, he looked good. He looked good in those minutes. It looked like he was comfortable. I liked every time he uh, drove a closeout, it was just a dunk. Like it was free dunk. Like no matter who was there, it was just dunking. Um, so that's fun. But yeah, let us know what you guys think about Nathan Knight. Uh, Jack knows ball summer continues because I was correct again. Uh, Give us lottery numbers, Jack. Uh, 5, 21, 6, 46, 27. Do I need one more? I don't know how lottery numbers work. Uh, <laughs> Let us know if Jack gave us enough lottery numbers. Someone play those. Uh, how crazy would be <laughs> that one? <laughs> uh, sorry, I had to make sure I stopped laughing before I spoke. Thank you all for tuning in. We appreciate it. Uh, and I'll let Sam take us out. Hey, thank you very much for listening and watching us today with The Breaker. This is why you turn on the notification bell on the YouTube channel, which you should subscribe to so you don't miss breaking news like this for the two-way contract don't say we don't care because we do um you can also find us on spotify and apple for the full-length pods one dropped this morning as we're posting this it's also on youtube so you can watch it It was a lot of fun yesterday good pod good rat list go check it out um you can find us on socials at how about them sees that's twitter instagram tiktok Facebook is just the name of the podcast. You can find Jack on Twitter at Jack's Money. You can find me at Samuel France NBA. That's it for us. <laughs>